box. Uh, the first thing that we need to do to get started is tape it up. I've used uh, some packing tape because it's very strong and will hold and stand the test of time. You don't need to do that. You can use scotch tape if you want, but I've already done the process, saves us a little time, so we're all taped up and ready for the next Once you've got your box all taped up, the next thing you can do is figure out where you want to put the hole uh, so the camera cord can go through. I'm going to put mine closer to the end that's going to be near the computer. So right down in this corner. Just make it just big enough for your cable to get through. Let's just make sure that works. Perfect. Next thing that we want to do here is we want to run our cable through that hole. Then once we have it run through that hole, we'll get that through there. We we'll want to tape that camera down. So now we've got our camera in there. We want to find the bottom, which is right there. And then we're going to tape it down. I'm going to use my masking tape again. I know it's loud, I'm sorry. We want to tape that right into the center of the box. Mine's a little crooked, but that should do. Okay, next, we want to make sure the camera works. Uh, so I'm just firing up some video camera software to see if it works. And it looks like it does. There it is. So now we can install the library. We've got this box here that needs to actually be attached underneath here. So that's what I'm going to do next. Um, also, I had a problem with the first camera not working, so I went with a different camera, which <coughs> the other camera would not sit well in the, uh, in the bottom of the box. So I pulled off the mount of the camera, and I actually cut a hole in the box in the bottom right there. And as you can see, I just mounted the camera to the bottom of the box, which actually seems to work a little bit better than the original design that I got off the web. So uh, we'll see how that works, and we'll mount that underneath with a little bit of tape under the desk. Here right is there. our first demo, and this one is called Smoke. So we're just going to get kind of a taste here of how Smoke works. My index finger, just move it around here. This does seem a little bit choppy, but it works and I have a defined pointing area. So now I've got two fingers, three fingers, and I can use two hands, twirl them around, just to kind of show the effects. So that's smoke, and it looks like everything's working pretty well here. Okay, so now that we've tried the uh, fire demo, next we want to try the actual pretty cool demo, which is the photo demo. Uh, to do this one, we'll just try and move some photos around, maybe resize something if we can. Um, so let's take this photo for starters and see if we can't get it to resize at all. Still a little kludgy with this, so bear with me. Let's grab this, move this over here. And we can grab one of these photos and just resize it, move it around a little. It takes a little getting used to before you can really resize stuff and do things the way you want it. See if I can get that kitten. Let's 
move the kitten up here. Let's see if I can resize the kitten. This one's for my wife because I know she'll appreciate the resized kitten. Oh, if I can get to it. Okay. We'll resize that kitten to super size. And you can imagine if that kitten was a map of Arizona, for example, and I want to zoom in on a particular city, that is a great application for that. Of course, I have to fine tune this a little bit more, um, get it to where I have a little bit more control over it, and we'll be in business.